Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of my Darkness Falls series. So it's the morning of day 104. And we got all our ammo back up to normal. I fixed the uh, coil, well not this coil rifle, but another one. Fixed this sn coil sniper so we got it maxed out. So I got this one ready for Horde Night. We can just put three of these together um, to max out if this one gets damaged for Horde Night tomorrow night. Uh, I think we're doing okay with regards to ammo. We've got plenty of AP 9 mil. And I think we've got another couple of rounds, a couple of thousand rounds of coil going in here, so we should be fine with that. And I'm working on getting a, a full oven because this thing is just slow and having to like constantly uh, fill it up and that is a bit of an issue. So we're gonna get that going. One thing I want to do first off, I think, is make a bunch of learning elixir. And I got to remember how to do that now. I think it's in here. Um, yeah. Is it cheaper? Yeah, it's cheaper. So I'm not going to make it here because it's slightly cheaper in, like, with dog food and red tea. Dog food's a big the issue. Yeah, it's ch so we're going to wait for this oven to finish, and then we'll do it in there. So we want to get that done today. So leave that there for now. i got to turn this question, which I forgot to do yesterday. And we've got all the stuff ready for the farm here. So we're going to get the farm going today. So we need those guys. These, that. I think this is not enough. Um... Because we're seven, eight by eight over there, so we need 64. I got half of what I need here. Just realizing that now. So we need that. I need the wood out of here. Okay, let's grab some concrete, some iron. Actually, let's leave the iron here. Uh, we definitely need the wood on us today. Uh, what else? Um, we might need cobble, I don't know. Got the concrete. Let's bring the rebar just in case. Uh, what else are we gonna need over there? I got the pump. I got the pipes. We're gonna making water. This is for over top. We're gonna make some plates, which we need the wood for. Uh, what else do we need over there? It'd be nice to be able to put a like a spotlight up over there, but we're not gonna worry about that right now. Oh, uh, let's grab the paint. And a paintbrush. I want to paint some of the tiles over there once we get this laid in. And I think that's all we need for this. How is this doing? Yeah, I want to get that learning electro started before we leave here. So nothing in there that I need, nothing in there that I need. Was I doing anything in here? Nope. Nope. I think I got everything out of here. Got the iron out. Yeah, we're good there. Those are clean, and that's fine. Okay, so let's grab... the stuff we need for learning elixir. So we need acid, we're gonna need... so we need two of these... a stack of that... two of these... and then acid... which we've got plenty of. So that should give us a stack of 10 learning elixir. Pretty pricey, man, I'm telling you. And where are we going to put this? I guess we could put it right there for now. Like, we have no space in this place. It's big enough, but there's really, like, there really is no space here. I mean, I guess I, I, I should probably work on the floor above, but... I've been so busy trying to get work towards getting that... Um, laser weapon and we got what level are we now 138 so I mean not too bad so if we look down how many points do we need for the next level of technology crafting I have no idea it was three here so my guess is probably gonna be three or five I want to hang on to these well we don't really need to hang on to them we could start going this way too. It closes these off. 50% of your max. Six hit points per second for 30 seconds. 
when injured by an enemy. 30% chance to heal broken arms, legs, and bleeding while regenerating is active. That's kind of nice. Got to go fast. Walk speed and run speed. That's going to make my speed, like, ridiculously fast. So this is stamina regen, which we don't really need because our regen is so ridiculously fast as it is. Damage resistance. Yeah, let me hold off. I don't know yet. I gotta think about it. Oh, yeah, the uh, book that we set to go yesterday, I completely forgot. So let's go ahead and read this. Get our master... There we go. Master Hunter completed. So that means... Um, where are we here? Hunter. We can make the extended magazine mods. What does that take to make? Um, here. Starts with an E. Apparently it's not here. Regular magazine extender. Where do we make that then? Get in here. Um, doesn't say where we make it though. Oh, advanced magazine extender. That's why it starts with an A, not an E. There it is. Twenty of these, not bad. Forged steel, glue, mechanical parts, and springs. So that's pretty, pretty darn cheap. All right, let's get this down and get this stuff started. I need a battery though. Um, we should have a bunch, yep. I guess I'm going to put it right here for now. It's not ideal, but there you go. Battery, grandpa learning elixir. Let's get 10 of them to go. 34 seconds. No time at all. Uh, what was the other thing we are going to do? Oh yeah, advanced magazine extender. We need 20 of those of these guys. So we should make one, two, three, a bunch, a whole bunch. So steel, um, springs, mechanical parts, and what was the other, was it glue? I think it was glue, wasn't it? It was. So I'm going to need to see two coil rifles. And the SMG, let's do three for sure. Get those started. And is there anything else we really wanted? You know what? Let's not do that right now. Let's focus on what we need to focus on. That's getting that farm done. So let's put this stuff away. And then we go over and do the farm. Oh, we need to make farm plots too. That's right. Uh, so I need clay. Clay, the wood, rotten flesh, nitrate powder, and is that it? I think so. Uh, here, farm plots, yes. I only need 32. Let's get 32 started. I think that's all we need over there. I probably miscalculated again, but better to be safe than sorry. Put this stuff away. That can go away. Got 32. It's a good start. Ah, beautiful day to work out here too. Nice. Okay, so where do we want our water supply? We're going to put it on this end. So let's go ahead and do this stuff first. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, you don't necessarily need to have this many, but like I said, what I understand from listening to Kane talk about how the, the irrigation systems are set up, the blocks look for water within its radius. So generally, the and then it steals the water, right? So if multiple crops are ready to grow, 
Only one of them will get the water. I'm short one. Are you serious? It's fucking serious, all right. All right, well. Hey. How is that the same rotation? Oh, you know what? Probably because it was um, on face. Whatever. So let's get some of these in and started. So we'll do the side here. Like so. I think I've miscalculated again too. I think I'm going to be short. Because this is... Is it? Yeah, I'm going to be short. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is nine, not, uh, damn. Yep, and here, here I thought it was, yeah. So I'm going to have to make another seven and one. So let's go do that now. Is it seven and one? Nine by, we needed another... No, eight. We need eight more. Mm, or nine more. God damn it. I don't know. Well, we know we need one irrigation pump. I'm not even going to wait to listen to the door close. Okay, one irrigation pump. Uh, let's grab our... I put it back in the wrong one, didn't I? I did. That should be enough. And then nitrate powder and clay. Uh, let's do it here. How many do we need? Did I say nine? Let's get that started. If it's not right, it's not right. That's fine. Uh, I'm putting this stuff away. Putting the stuffs away. Okay, that's those guys. Let's grab... That's not doing anything, so forged iron. I need 20 for one more pipe. Perfect. Irrigation pipe straight. Craft that. And while we're waiting for that, we can grab some of this stuff. Alright, so not too, too bad. Actually, we'll come back for that. Out this way. Alrighty. Now the water. Right after we put these in. So yeah, with one irrigation pipe per, that should maximize our growing potential. So now we're going to need some plates. So like, uh, it's not plates, it's these guys. We're going to need more than that, but we'll make 50 to start. And then we're going to use shape, wood fence, and then fence rotation, like this. So the idea is just to flatten the edges so the zombies won't get caught. And then I'm going to just put that to there. I'm going to paint these to make them look like uh, concrete slabs. Like it's like a walkway around the outside of this. Like so. And I think we can update these once. I mean, we don't really need to update them, but at least it provides a little protection if some shit goes on over here. I'm just kind of being anal about this, but the next level up is iron, and I don't feel like putting these to iron. Okay, now we need to put some water in here. So the center is where the irrigation is, right where the pump is going to be. Right there is where the pump has to be. So we grab the pump down. And it needs to be up against the water. So that goes there, right? And then the water is going to be here. But in order to get the water there, it's got to go down one. And 
And then what we do, like so, and then we'll do one more. Come on, like so. I mean, we don't need this much water. It's just to kind of give it a half decent look. Really, you could get away with one block, but I ain't doing it that way. Come on, there you go. All right, so that goes like that. And then what we do is we take our rain catchers and we're gonna put them I think I can go here. Yeah. There. And there. And then what we do is on top, we're going to add our plates again here. So we're going to copy rotation like so. I'm not so much so worried about the Oh shit, that's got a uh, plate on it. Not so worried about going underneath where the fence is. That kind of looks okay there. That fence has got to come out of there too, or the uh, plate. Because what we're doing next is adding these guys. And if we copy rotation, yep, perfect. Then what we can do is put these guys above. All right, now that allows for the water to drop through, like rain to drop through. So that should, once this water starts below us, that should automatically initialize, initialize that pump and it should start providing water to this. So now we can go ahead and do this guy. I'm gonna change this to, ah, uh, where are you? The paver, crack sidewalk, we can use this one. I think. That shouldn't be too bad. All right, just run it along like that. There we go. So I know it's wood, but at least it looks okay. And then these bars, let's do these bars another color. Let's get them like I wonder if these I wonder if this will look okay. I mean not really, but that's fine. It adds a little bit of color anyway. What we should do though is I wonder if this'll it will go along the outside like this. Give it a bit of separation. Then we'll go back over, we'll pick up our other farm plots and all of our, so like that. Pick up our farm plots, the one irrigation pump that we need, or the irrigation pipe. And then we'll come back, put those in, put our seeds in. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. Let's wait till the seeds, seeds get in to get a final judgment on this. Fully expecting a watering horde to jump me at any time and ruin everything I'm working on. Maybe it'll jump me while I'm in here. Okay, those guys. Those guys. I think I have too many now. I think I've got too many now. I miscalculated again. Whatever, I don't really care. It's not like I'm like sacrificing resources to do this. Alright, so what did I say we needed? Oh yeah, the seeds. Uh, so seed-wise, what do we got? Blueberries, carrots, chrysanthemum, coffee. So we, uh, what I want to do is make... Don't need those. Aloe seed. How many... Can I, is it one per one in here for, for seeds? Or is it two per one? It's two per one. Well, we'll do one carrot seed. It's fine. Um... I don't think I'm going to find any more carrots around here. What else do we really need? I don't need a lot of this. I don't need cotton. 
Corn for sure. Potatoes for sure. A couple of pumpkins will be fine. Yucca and uh, we definitely want some of that. So these are the important ones. Don't I mean we're not really we're not really using coffee all that much either. All right, let's go back over. How much paint do we have? Plenty. Okay, let's get this. It actually doesn't look too bad from here. Doesn't look too bad from here. Are we getting water yet? Ah, oh, we're getting a little bit of water. All right, um, last pipe. Last pipe. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. I'm over by a bit, but whatever. We got extra. Alrighty. Get this done. Okay. Now, um, Corn. Let's put the corn down the center. Okay, nine corn. And then brotatoes will go down this side. Actually, let's put all the five, six, seven, eight, nine. I was gonna say let's put all the useful things on one side, but I think what we do is spread it out a little bit here. Five. Go with this on this side. And then let's go... Twenty-three pumpkin, eh? We'll go three pumpkin, pumpkin, one yucca here, or one aloe, I mean. The yucca will put up the other side here. Like so. And then... Oops, did not mean to do that. Four, five, six, seven. Can I fix that? It doesn't... Uh, oh, well, no big deal. It's not like I have to fix it. All right, then this side will go one... Two, three, four, five, six, and then I think we do one, two, three, four, five, six. Now those are for for actually these were supposed to be for carrots too. Those are for carrots. And then, do we have anything else that we really, really need? Not yet. Can we go looking for carrots today? Just so I can finish this off? No, I don't think it really matters. We'll let it grow. I mean, we're getting, we're getting like four per hit anyway, so that's going to be 20 every time we harvest. And if we find someone we're out, great. Or if she's actually, actually, let's go see if she's selling any. But that didn't close for a second. All right, let's go see if you're selling any. Good morning to my favorite customer. Carrots. Don't spend it all in one place. Oh yeah, this. Yes, and I'll take sure that. And I'll take. Sure, why not? Uh, carrots. Do you have any carrots? Go fish. You do, you got two. That'll give us another seed. Nothing else important? Well, yeah, we might as well grab that while we're here, while we're in here. We can start making meat stew again, I guess. And that I we can just, just scrap. You'd find something you'd like. All right, let's go upstairs. Make one more seed. Then, I think we're done for today. We'll craft that. 
Actually, do I want to make... I can make more mushroom seeds. Do I have any shrooms in here? I'm pretty sure I do. Yeah. Let's make a few more mushrooms as well. Make three of those. And you know what? I think I'm going to plant these. Which means i got to take stuff out. Because I need them for both the meat stew, which requires mushrooms, and I think it requires corn. And then I need potatoes and carrots for the steak and, steak and potato meal. Yeah. So let's do that then. We'll plant these guys. So we can leave these ones behind. Let's go quickly do that. Then we're done with the farm. It's been a long time coming, but finally finished. I mean, we still need like one more carrot seed. But I'm not a, I don't really care. Take one of these out. We'll go one, two, three, four. And how many of these do we have? Three? I don't really need the aloe. Let's put these guys in though. Three. We'll put... that in. Take a couple of golden rod out. Put a couple of these guys in and I think that'll be it. We'll call that done. We just need the one more carrot seed which we can... or two more carrot seeds I guess. Right? Yeah, two more carrot seeds, which we can get the next time we, uh, w once we harvest this. There we go, filled up with water. That should theoretically be working now, because it is touching the water. It's kind of leaking through there, but that's fine. Hopefully, well, we'll see in the next couple of days. We'll be able to tell tomorrow night, before a horde. Okay, now let's grab our advanced magazine extenders. Let's go ahead and modify you. Oop, that's the wrong one. Armor shredder. There we go. And then modify you. And then we're going to modify... I think we modify the shotgun, I think. I mean, I should do this one. Magazine size should go to what? Almost like 28 or something. But I think, thinking, considering that it hoards tomorrow, I'm thinking that it's probably wiser to go with this one. All right, let's reload these. 32 shots. This should be 60. Yeah, and then this should be 60. Yep. Excellent. Now we can just leave these guys in there. Do that. We're going to fix our pickaxe first. Actually, let's leave this guy in there. I'll take this one out. Actually, do I have a 53? This is a 61. That's fine. We'll just use that. That should uh, not be enough to repair it all the way. So I should be able to not have to... Yeah, there we go. Not have to take my mods off. You only have to take the mods off if it's going to actually push it beyond the level. Um, okay, so those are done. I think I still want to do more advanced magazines. So let's go down, grab you, grab one of you, that, that, and that. Take that too. We're going to go down and talk to Jen real quick and see if she's got some more schematics. Now I have 40 some odd, enough for a couple of more advanced magazines. Um, but I want to see if I can get uh, some so that we have them in reserve. Now you've got 22 there. 
and I think it's here. And 24 there, so it's worth Thanks using for this. Thanks take care of you. And tell your friends. Yeah, don't worry, I will. Uh, I'm going to buy up your she medics. 24 a pop at 187. That's so cheap. 22. 187. Do I need anything else? I don't think so. Not really using the AP 762 anymore. Did you have... You got AP 762, no 9mm, right? I think I bought it. That was what happened, is I bought it. I buy these though, because we got because they're so cheap. Why not? I'm going to buy these as well. Fine. So I think we're going to run... You know what else? Gonna buy those. I wonder if we can get. Thanks for letting me take care. Yeah, of yeah, you. no worries. And tell your friends. I will. I wonder if we can get a rad remover onto a rocket launcher because it would make launching frag rockets into a group of zombies well worth it. Um, that's an interesting thought. Let's drop that stuff in there. Coins, that stuff. That stuff. Now we need, what was it again? Springs? We have to get some springs again soon too. And where are you? Springs, starts with an S. Hello, Emily's down here. Did I put it in the wrong container? No, there it goes. Strings, mechanical parts, glue. And we need steel, which is in here. Steel. And then we want to do two more of these guys. So one for the second coil rifle for Horde Knight, and one for the sniper. So craft those two. Uh, and I wanted to get... What does the junk turret have on it? Ah, not the turret, the, uh, you know what I mean. Actually, uh, modify. I don't think we have anything on this. We don't. So, hmm. Interesting. We got two more sledges, a 53 and a 37. Leave the 37 for now. And what do we have that we could put on there? What will it take? Actually, let's go ahead and do uh, modify you because you've got these guys. So it will take both the rad remover and the NICAD. Rad remover is a no-brainer. I think both of them need rad, re rad removers because I'm going to run both on this next Horde Knight because it's 32. So well, ah, do I want to? We want to run at least one. You know what? Let's go with the one. And since the 53's got more health, we'll use that one. So let's put the 59 away in here. So if we go with... Oh yeah, I wanted to check to see, right? So if we modify you... You will take a rad remover. Because the thing I hate about using, like, the sledge or a rocket launcher is if you launch the rockets into them and they blow up and they fly everywhere and you don't kill them, they just regenerate, right? The rad, rads will just regenerate. Impact damage is 248, which really isn't a lot. Is enough to kill minor zombies, but the, the big guys, you need three or four rounds to take them down, right? So if they're radi radiated, they're going to keep regenerating. So it increases the number of rounds you need to use against them. So if the junk sledge and the rocket launcher both have rad removers on them, then that means it's easier to kill those guys in the like the the sledge might be able to do it, or if I hit them with a rocket and then the guy runs up, the sledge might be able to kill them or whatever. So let's make one question is do I want to add a NICAD to the to the junk? Sledge. Mm. 
maybe. Let's make the two rad removers first. Put these guys back on here. Make sure you're reloaded. Okay. So let's grab this. We don't have enough batteries for a nightcat anyway. I need five and I got four. Although I guess I could pull one out of the battery bank right next to us here. Let's grab you. I think I'm going to need... What do I need? I might need the plastic. So rad remover, we need more than that. This guy requires the batteries. What are we missing here? Just the schematics, which we have. Got them right here. So let's make two... Uh, I mean, the Bless Metal could go in there too. It does more damage to zombies, right? Does it go in the rocket launcher though? Let's make two of these guys. So, does this have a blessed metal on it? It doesn't. This guy does, though. So if we do... It will go on there. And it will go on here, too. Okay. So I can use it with the rad remover. So let's do that then. Let's make a couple of these guys. What am I missing? Oh, schematics. We'll just make one anyway. So the trader restocks tomorrow, so we should have enough schematics tomorrow as long as she restocks them, that is. I'm sure she will. So we should have enough schematics for tomorrow. Actually, let's bring this out of here. So these two guys, so one's going into here. We can take out that one, put that in. That gives us 30 rounds in here now. Okay, that's pretty good. Then... Uh, where are we here? The second one of these guys. Modify that. Grab out the old one. Put the new one in. So now we've got two of these that are the same. Okay. So now we can grab that. Modify you with that. Question is, is do I put the blessed metal on this guy. It's doing 17, or melee damage is 13. It's not, it's not, not doing enough to really make a difference damage-wise. So we put it on this guy. Because even though we're not using this continuously, when we do use it, it's spread. It's adding 10 to the damage already. Plus, it'll be more against the zombies, I guess. I'm thinking, I'm hoping. So this guy can go back out. And then, yeah, we're only going to use the one. On the, six, the, night we, the night we run a 64 zombie horde, we're probably going to have, definitely have to have the second one out for sure. Alright, I'm going to modify you. And put that in. Alright, just have to make sure we don't forget to bring that on horde night that back in there. Okay. Should be good. I think the next Horde Knight should be really, really interesting. I think we can probably sell three of these too. Don't think we need to keep those. Alrighty. That's that done. Alright, let's get something to eat and drink here and then get the hell out of here and go do something. Uh, use one of these guys. Use one of these guys. Got our learning elixir here, right? Yep. 
Put that in there. Excellent. Uh, do you have... I think it was a tier 3, wasn't it? That's too far away. I'm thinking about the library now. If we're gonna do, if we're gonna be a completionist, then we need to get that library done. Oh shit! You know what? Since most of the day is gone, you know what? No, let's not get out of here. Let's focus on, because there's crickets, right? Let's focus on doing what we need to get done around here. Um, that I'm gonna need this. There's a few things I gotta do before the Horde Night, and we better do them now. So let's grab these guys. Because I want to fill this in. Oh, you know what? No. I put plates here. I thought I updated this. I was like, I'm thinking to myself, no, nah, I put blocks in here. I put blocks in there. And then these are all plates. So that's double thick. Yeah. So I did do that. All right. Good, good. Let's get this updated, though. Didn't get forged iron. I should have. Go do that in a minute. This just adds a little extra protection. All right, so we get the forged iron. All right. I'm probably going to have to spend the night down in the mine again. Ah, you know what? I'll probably do it after a horde. I'll probably do that after a horde. Okay, so. This can be steel. I'm going to have to paint this too. That's one of the set of things I said I was going to do, but I never did. Got to paint the outside too, so. Maybe we get some... Um, some paint going. This is going to be a hell of a lot of paint. That'll be worth it though, once it's painted. Yeah, let's go look. Actually, you know what we can do now too? Before I forget, we're going to get flyers soon. So let's put uh, you guys away. Starting to get low on steel again. Um, and then let's bring out Mark two turrets. The thing is that those use steel jacketed ammo. So I want them kind of away from below. Like maybe there and there. Let's get the um, wire tool here and find out how much power we're drawing on the battery over here. Zero watts. So if we turn this on, how are we drawing zero watts? Because we're pulling from here. Power output 66 watts. So during the day, so we've got 66 watts of output, which is plenty. I think I can run from here. Come on. To here. That's 15 watts, eh? Well, we still got lots. Still got lots of, of uh, power. Okay, so that's both those turrets. And if we do... So you gotta worry about them seeing that guard in the bottom corner, right? So maybe like that? And then this one, kind of quasi overlapping. Like that. 
Now you take steel jacketed 762 ammo. Uh, let's just see here. I want to make sure. I got a bit, but I want to see if I can make sure um, it doesn't take the regular ammo. No, it doesn't. That's fine. And half of that. Okay. So I feel a little safer now in Horde Night. So the birds will be pretty much roasted by these guys and that turret up there, the 9 mil turret. I might put another turret over there facing back this way, I don't know yet. These turrets are up and ready to go now. I don't think we're going to get any flyer. We might, we, we had, we had um, demons the last horde, so... Um, actually, the, I wonder, I can make pulse grenades. So here's my question, do pulse grenades remove demon regen? Titanium and uranium. More damage to organics than a standard grenade. Very little damage to structure. So we're going to have to test that out, I guess. Titanium and uranium. So let's get... Uh, was it enriched uranium? It is enriched. So we got to enrich some uranium here. Uh, take those guys out, and then the titanium. So if we go enriched uranium. I'm going to make three grenades. We're going to have to go back to the wasteland and get more. Uh, I'm dreading doing that. I'll take the auger though in this time, I think. The next time we go, probably be a little faster. It's just that the, the nature of the wandering hordes now, um, and the screamer hordes, is just so nasty that to go over there and try and mine shit and not be mobbed in a pit when they show up, it's just, it's just scary. I don't like the idea of that happening. All right, let's open these guys up. Some tips. Um, I gotta break, I mean, I should break all this down. What do we get? We get a tip and, and gunpowder. That gunpowder shouldn't be in there anyway. Um, yeah, not worth it. Okay, six. So let's do some pulse grenades. They're in here. And I wonder if that guy will still be in the Wii Fight building. We gotta go find out tomorrow. We're gonna go find out if he's still there. Because if he is still there, I'm gonna go pick a fight. And see if the pulse grenade actually works. I don't think it... I'm not convinced it will. I know it says it does more damage to organics, but it doesn't say it takes off of the demon regen. But we'll try it, see what happens. And if it doesn't work, we can just use them on Horde. Now, what are we at, at level-wise? Still 138? Yeah. Alright, well, there's the evening chime. Tomorrow is Horde. Um, I think we're ready for it. It's a 32 zombie Horde. It's going to be pretty tough. I should probably repair those up there, but not a big deal. Um, the biggest fear is that they break through the hatches. If they get through the hatches, you know, that's the biggest problem. We've got to make sure we murder everyone right at this door. We've got the, um, wired fences. Okay, one, two, three, four. Where's the other one? What? 
Is one of them not wired? Ah, I gotta figure this out. Alright, I'm gonna end the episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed. Yeah, this one's not wired now. Please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Like, why the fuck is this thing not wired? Until next time, <laughs> we'll see you later.